Protesters once again gathered for the 67th consecutive night all across Portland last night. And while things were mostly peaceful, there were a few clashes with officers and Portland police declared it an unlawful assembly. The question, what can we expect moving forward? Lindsay Nadritz reached out to the Oregon Coalition Against Hate Crimes for some perspective on this. Lindsay? Well, yeah, as you mentioned, we continue to see nightly protests and the groups are a mix of people who are peacefully protesting and others who are just here to cause damage and violence. And some of that national narrative has kind of been that Portland is burning to the ground. But those of us who live here know that's not the case to move forward. Experts say it's going to take real change. We saw multiple groups of people peacefully demonstrating with signs and chanting yesterday. And since federal officers left town Thursday, the tone has shifted to be more peaceful again. What we're seeing now is a movement back to where we were before the DHS uh, uh, forces showed up. Uh, and that was a movement toward dialogue. But we are still seeing pockets of violence. Around 6.30 yesterday, police say a woman stabbed another woman in the chest with a knife in Lounstail Square Park. Then later in the evening, around 10 p.m., police say a 15-year-old boy was pointing what looked like a handgun, but turned out to be a pellet gun at people downtown. Portland police also say protesters set a fire near East Burnside and Southeast 57th last night, and two people were arrested. I spoke to Randy Blazak, who's a sociologist and chair of the Oregon Coalition Against Hate, about where we go from here. So there, there is now an opportunity to be really clear about to the community, especially the black community in Portland, what it looks like to have real change and not just a little, you know, tidbit here that looks like you're trying to appease the, uh, the protesters. They have real systemic change, and I think that's where we are. Blazak and others say federal officers really derailed the message of the protests. And now that they're gone, it's an opportunity to refocus on what's important. But the next step is to be really clear. Here's what we want. Here's, you know, here's what defunding the police actually looks like. Here's what uh, changing the way community policing has done in Portland looks like. Boy, Zach is now working to set up a meeting between protesters and community stakeholders like Portland police to talk about what real systemic change looks like moving forward. He says until we have those hard conversations and see real change, we'll continue to be stuck in the cycle of events we see every night. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Point Six News. Now we sure are center stage.